It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osorio. We're just joining us. We are enjoying all the best we can give you when it comes to the world of sports, Champions League, Europa League. And now we are changing the shift to talk about kickboxing here in Kenya. And joining me to discuss matters kickboxing is the Kid Master, who is also the Kenya Kickboxing Federation Secretary and Coach. Takid, Karibu Touchline, how are you doing? Fine, thank you, bro. Yes. Yeah. Hi, ah, it's been a long time since we saw each other. Have you been faring on? I've been faring on well. Yes. With everything about the preparation for the tournaments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in fact, uh, I'm uh, the Kenya Kickboxing Federation Competition Secretary, uh -huh. not Secretary. Yes. Because it's sec Secretary is like Secretary General. Sec oh. So I'm okay. the Competition, competition secretary. secretary. Yeah. Secretary General is uh, Mr. Willinganga. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a good correction there. Kenya Kickboxing Federation Competition. competition. Secretary and yeah. major event coming up, I think, on October 2022nd will be the Chairman's Cup that will be happening in Nairobi. Tell us about the event. Okay, the Chairman's Cup is all about um, us dedicating ourselves to the um, Kenya Kickboxing Federation president, who is uh, Professor Iraki Kangede. Yes. We always have this championship every year once, mm -hmm. so I decided to organize it this year mm -hmm. on the 22nd of uh, this month of October, yes. then the, it will be held at uh, Palpal Pumwani Social Hall, mm -hmm. which is next to Majengo area, mm -hmm. for people who don't know the area. Yes. So the championship will um, involve a lot of teams mm -hmm. from different places, mm -hmm. which is from uh, Kisumu, Mombasa, Nairobi area, which will be having uh, different kinds of teams. But I think I'll mention the teams once you ask me about the teams and <laughs> how things will be. Yeah. No problem. That's yeah. good for you. So let's go ahead and <coughs> talk about uh, it will be happening in Pumwani. Which date will it uh, be happening? It will be on the 22nd. That's the 22nd. next week, part one, Saturday. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so talk about the teams that will be coming in. I understand you've got KDF team, you've got private, you've got corporate. So which teams are coming in? Okay, we have uh, Takids Kickboxing. Mm -hmm. We have KDF Kickboxing. Yeah. We have uh, Hardcore, which is from Kayole. Mm -hmm. We have Scorpion from Rwai. We have Rwai Club itself. Yes. Then we'll be having Nakuru, uh, Menengai, mm -hmm. and uh, then Kisumu. Mm -hmm. We'll be also be having uh, one from Naivasha. Then we'll be having some from uh, the coast. Yes. So it will be a day of uh, full activity yes. yeah, for kickboxing in the nation. Well, that's a uh, big team that will be coming uh, away here in Nairobi for that event. Just uh, giving us a, a brief uh, history <coughs> of uh, kickboxing and how these teams come up. It, it's like it has a huge following in Kenya when you talk about kickboxing. Pardon? Yeah, when you talk about kickboxing in Kenya, yeah. because you have named teams from Naivasha, Nakuru, Mombasa, all the way coming into this event in uh, Pumwani for the Chairman's Cup. Yeah. Give us a brief history of kickboxing in Kenya. Is it a big uh, tournament in Kenya? Is it a big uh, sport in Kenya? Okay, to me, I would say as a kickboxer myself and as a coach, I would say it's gaining momentum. Mm -hmm. Now it's a big uh, um, uh, sports in Kenya also because we always rely just on uh, athletics, football, rugby, such yes. things. Those are the well-known sports in this nation. Mm -hmm. But now we are trying to push on <coughs> so that different kinds of martial arts sports, combat sports also are well-known. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why whenever I talk about martial arts, I always uh, talk about kickboxing, taekwondo, karate, yes. all such martial arts sports, you see? Mm -hmm. So with kickboxing, I've tried to push it for sure yeah. as the competition secretary, as that's my duty to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys from the media have also been uh, with me to push it. Because you see, without media, there's no way you can be marketing all these kind of sports for sure. Yes. The popularity of any kind of sports or art depends also in the media. Yes. And also we as the coaches and the players ourselves to push it so that we can also get any help from, uh, or let me say any assistance yes. from uh, different kind of stakeholders, the government and um, let me say any international uh, body. Yeah. Well, that's a, a big one for you. I understand also <coughs> you had a, uh, a competition that was happening in South Africa. Did you manage to attend it? Or w w what happened to that competition? Okay, we were to attend to the competition because we were already having our national team in order because we had already selected the best, yes. which we had uh, 12 uh, men categories. Yeah. and. Um, eight ladies 
we were camping at the KDF uh, center, yes. the Kawa Garrison, which we were provided by the government to at least uh, accommodate us as the national team for kickboxing. But now the problem was all about the um, election uh, period that we had in this country, because yes. it was supposed to be on the 26th to 28th uh -huh. of uh, last month. That was, yes. uh, September. yeah, uh -huh. it was not September, it was August. August. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we didn't go because it was Africa Championship. It was a very important uh, international assignment that would have gone as a country to participate because after that tournament, the people would have qualified from different countries would have represented the African uh, continent to the world combat sports, yes. which will happen later. So, but now you see we as Kenyan team, we can't be there because uh, we, we didn't participate in it. But now we hope that in the, the upcoming different uh, international assignments, yeah. we'll make as a team. Because we have good guys, we have uh, good fighters who are yes. ready to represent our country. The, the question will be, are you affiliated to National Olympic Committee of Kenya because they could have helped you sort out such a problem? Oh, you know, kickboxing has never been in Olympics. Uh -huh. It's just now that we are in Olympics. This is the first time. The first. Time that Paris that we'll, 2024 will be the first time or Tokyo? Yeah, I think it might be Tokyo because we are still waiting for uh, the communication from the uh, world body, WACO, yeah. yes. which is our world body as kickboxing federation in the country. Yeah. So we are waiting for uh, the way forward. Yes. And then we'll go meet the NOC officials to know how we can be accommodated in the NOC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's a big one for kickboxing there and uh, it's a big competition that will be coming on the 22nd of october the chairman's cup that will be happening at pumwani social hall it is the touchline here on y254 i'm robert osoro and we are hanging out with the takid master who is actually the kenya kickboxing federation competitions secretary and also a coach here in the country well you are talking about the election in the country and everything that has been happening and a big question that you'll be asked will be new government has come in new nominee for sports has been named to be the cs of sports that's uh, a babu namwamba what are your thoughts about a babu namwamba becoming the cs for sports in fact before even uh, our president nominated all these guys yes. to their positions mm -hmm. I asked the president because uh, last time I was uh, in another interview, I talked about it that uh, the only thing that we um, Kenyan youth, or let me say sports fraternity, would urge from him would be to give us the best sports CS ever. Because yes. that has been the problem. Mm -hmm. I think uh, in this country, they don't value sports a lot for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always talk about it, I always say that it's not only about uh, kickboxing, it's all about every kind of sports. Because even if you look at athletics, we do say that athletes are being well taken care of. No, it's only that what they get from their participation uh, internationally yes. is always good pocket-wise. So if you see them, you feel like they've been supported. No, it's not all that. The government should come on board and support us. So I think, according to my feeling as a coach yeah. and also as a sportsman in this country for long, I do feel like Ababu Namwamba would uh, make a big change. And uh, according to me, for sure, I have a trust. Yes. And uh, I would urge the president just to stick there for sure. And we give him time for sure to yeah. see how things will be. And then again, as uh, having a youthful president and also the CS is youthful, I'm sure that things will change in this country for us because they, they, they did say that uh, we are all hustlers, even we sportsmen are. Yes. So we are making sure that that narrative of being hustlers yes. and hardworking uh, youth for this nation mm -hmm. will bring something productive yeah. in future. And for that, we are looking for to see whether they'll support us well in sports and uh, different kinds of uh, activities that the youth are participating in. The question will be, if we narrow it <coughs> down to this uh, kickboxing not being a major sport in Kenya, because yeah. people don't know about it, but you look at it, these are the, some of the sports that uh, make Kenya proud, move, uh, let's say individual sports, we look at athletics, boxing and all that. For kickboxing, what would you like the CS to push for you if it gets to be in the docket of sports? The only thing I would like is uh, to provide us with different kinds of equipment for our training, yeah. then with the training centers. And another thing also, if we have an assignment, whether it's locally or may maybe internationally, they should come on board and support us. Because you see, with the government, we're always being supported in mostly 
let me say three major, four major uh, championships. We always have the Olympics, we always have all African Games, Commonwealth and World Championship. But the other ones that maybe we have internationally, like anything like Europe Open or uh, these other ones, they don't really chip in in supporting us. So if they would come in and support us in all these assignments, I think Kenya would be the best in kickboxing, even internationally, yeah. you see? Because uh, that's the only problem that we do have. And it's, it's not only in kickboxing. Even recently I checked in and I found that uh, even uh, for, for boxers, some of them have the same, same problem, you see? I think uh, these sports are being taken as, um, uh, it's, it's like they are not important for the nation, for sure. Yes. But they are, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, th that one will be a big uh, inclusion for you when you're coming for that. But uh, d f from the past, has the government ever supported kickboxing or this will be the first time you're requesting for that support? The government has ever supported uh -huh. kickboxing. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, 2007, mm -hmm. we went for all African Games yes. in Al Jazeera, Algeria, uh -huh. where Kenya brought in. Uh, uh, two bronze medals yes. from Jared Onyango uh -huh. and uh, Isaac Kibekamau. Uh -huh. Scandinavian uh -huh. Championship, which was the, the year 2011, yes. which we brought uh, three medals. One lady brought in a bronze uh -huh. and two guys, Isaac uh, Kamau um, Kibe and uh, Jared Onyango also brought in silver. Yes. So the government has been supported, supporting us, let me say that. But we as the federation also and uh, coaches should also go uh, from the grassroots to at least make sure that this thing starts from uh, primary schools, yes. secondary schools to the campus level. Because yes. that's how every sport, every kind of sport in any country develops. If I'm getting you well now, you're talking about the growth of the sport, how you are yeah. supposed to grow the sport. From the federation perspective, what is your plan on the, uh, on how you can grow the sport that it can be known all over Kenya now? Okay, from our side, or as the competition secretary for the federation, yes. I've been pushing it, or, or it's already on board, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. I've been going through different schools, yeah. primary schools and uh, high schools, and also to different universities to see that at least they involve kickboxing in their uh, ASAs, after school activities, yes. which uh, really brings in uh, more of the talents out from the youth, you see. But now what I would say f to these institutions or the administrations, yeah. they shouldn't take kickboxing as a lethal sports or let me say as a very dangerous uh, uh, combat sports. Yeah. We have rules that govern every kind of tournament when it comes to all those uh, tournaments in the ring. And that's why we have referees. Yeah who always uh, um, take care of you in, in, in case of any injury, you see? Yes. And we also have a coach who directs you on what to use and what not to use as per the rules. And that's why to know that kickboxing is now safe, you can't be in the Olympics if your sports is that rough sports or yes. without any discipline. So kickboxing is just the same as Taekwondo, Karate, the same, they use it in different kinds of schools. Uh, and even judo. That's how even kickboxing should be accommodated. And that's why we are now planning to have a coaching seminar to have more coaches in different places, different counties, yes. so that we will develop these kind of sports. Because you know, the worst thing with most of sports in this country is that we always uh, centralize everything in Nairobi as the yes. capital city. But now we should move, uh -huh. uh, we should get out our roots yes. to different counties. We go to Mombasa, Kisumu, Nyeri, everywhere and that would really accommodate as well and uh, bring in any productive and positive uh, results for this kind of sports in the future. Uh, you, you talked about Nairobi being the central place for the, some of these major sports like kickboxing. I understand it's actually in Nairobi. But uh, when we were talking about the teams coming for the Chairman's Cup, you talked about Naivasha, talked about uh, Nakuru, talked about Mombasa. Those are some of the teams that will be, represent, will be represented at the Chairman's Cup. In those places, is it also growing? Has it grown to a level where you enjoy going there and putting competitions in those counties? Yeah, it's growing mm -hmm. and uh, it has already grown. Let me say mostly in Mombasa, mm -hmm. um, it's getting bigger there because yeah. uh, after this tournament, we should be having another tournament that should be on the 26th of November. That's National mm -hmm. League. Yeah. 
yes. which I haven't confirmed uh, the locations and how it will be done because I'm still concentrating on this chairman's cup. Mm -hmm. You know, to concentrate on anything or to give any a clear outcome of uh, any kind of arrangement, yeah. you must have uh, stakeholders who are also willing to support you. Mm -hmm. But we haven't gotten anything yeah. that shows it all. So uh, after that, we'll be having uh, the Kenya Open Championship, which should be staged in Mombasa. Yeah. And that will be on the 17th of December. So that shows that uh, kickboxing is growing yeah. in uh, every kind of county. Um, but uh, I'm sure if it wasn't about COVID-19, we'd have been far for now and uh, the growth would have been really amazing. Yeah. But I'm sure that by next year, things will be in really a big change, let me say. Well, COVID-19 really brought a bad effect in the country, but uh, some of the games, we understand, even boxing, their calendar is actually starting and they'll be traversing all the counties. Kickboxing is here, you're going to Mombasa, it's in Nairobi, Eldoret, and all that. So your league is not a week-in, week-out competition. It goes uh, when you plan for the event. Yeah, mm -hmm. according to the situation now, to go there as yeah. we are provided we plan for the event. Yeah, yeah. finally. Uh, you government is there to support and everything but the major thing when it comes to sports is also the private sector that is supposed to come in to help out in the world of sports what is your engagement like and what would you like also to how would you like to engage with the private sector to come and support kickboxing you know for the for any private center to, uh, let me say sector to come and support any kind of activity number one thing you must uh, also show mm -hmm. any good is that you've been bringing in after any support that will be given yes. whether it's from the government or any private sector you see yeah. so right now because we've been working hard and having different kind of tournaments which are for example this chairman's cup the coast one the national league all these things after the any uh, private sector this is what we've been doing and yes. the results then i'm sure that it's easy for us to go and uh, face them the officers then talk to them then I'm sure that for that, more stakeholders will come on board and support us. Because yeah. I'm sure that everyone, whatever you do, you always want to see a result of yes. what you've been supported to do, mm -hmm. you see? Because even right now, if the, if the government would support us, we go for any international championship, let me say like one or two, yes. then we come without any goodies for sure. Mm -hmm. There will be no morale or motivation for the government to support us. So yeah. we are willing that, um, our players, let me say our fighters, mm -hmm. will be training hard, they'll be sharp and well mm -hmm. to represent the country yeah. or any kind of, uh, uh, whether locally or international tournament. Mm -hmm. Then from that, it's easy for any kind of uh, private uh, sectors to come and support us. Well, that's a big one for us there, but uh, let's recap. The Chairman's Cup, you said it will be happening at the Pumwani Social Hall, and that's in Majengo? Hey, that's in Majengo area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. next to Majengo Mosque. Yes. So it's just next to the Dio's place. Mm -hmm. That's where Pal Pal, for people who know uh, about boxing for long, mm -hmm. there's a nickname known as, known as Pal Pal, but mm -hmm. it's uh, officially known as Pumwani Social Hall. Yes. That's where we'll stage the Chairman's Cup mm -hmm. on the 22nd. That will be next week, but one mm -hmm. Saturday. Well, the teams will be, are there levels of uh, competition that will be happening at the event? Yeah, we'll be having uh, juniors also. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be having uh, female mm -hmm. fighters. We'll be having male fighters. Yeah. But there'll be different weight categories also. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So whether you are from the national team or uh, this now will be in, on a club level, because mm -hmm. uh, all the winners will get uh, number one trophy for club, mm -hmm. two trophy for club, and three trophy for club. Yes. Then we'll also be having medals mm -hmm. uh, for number one, two, and three individuals and yes. certificates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Uh, that, that's a big one for us that it will be coming and we'll be sending someone there to cover for us. And uh, what about the, how do you call it, the, is it the categories, the full compact, cool, full body, how do you call it? And what okay, will we'll there? be having the full contact yes. and low kick. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, yeah. that's what you are trying to ask. About. Yes, that actually, yeah, that cause, is Yeah, uh, because uh, um, full contact is American type mm -hmm. and then low kick mostly relies on uh, um, Thailand. Yes. That's Muay Thai. Uh -huh. But now, as per the rules, and uh, what happened also in uh, South Africa during this African Championship, yes. we allow the low kickers to also come and participate. Yeah. The only thing they won't use is the elbow uh -huh. 
-huh. and the knee. Yeah. But uh, low kick will be allowed and that will be a point too. Actually, what was on my mind was also the selection of the players who represent Kenya in kickboxing. How do you come out for that selection? We'll come out uh, with that uh, after going through our profile, mm -hmm. the tournaments that we've been having all of this year. Mm -hmm. Then that's where we'll uh, select the national team which we had already selected, the one that was to represent the country in South Africa for Africa yes. Championship. Mm -hmm. But now again, we have to go back again on board and take care of it. So mm -hmm. after this Chairman's Cup, yeah. get the profile with us mm -hmm. as the Federation. Then again, after Kenya Open, mm -hmm. then National League. From there is when we'll have the national team for next year that will represent the country in the different categories. Well look at that camera and tell fans to come to Pumwane Social Hall to enjoy that event on the 22nd of October. Okay, can I tell them that just in Kiswahili maybe? <laughs> yeah, you're the <dope. laughs> <laughs> Okay, my fans, uh, naomba Tareshi na Mbili, umwezi wa October, tukutane pale pal pal, hapo area majengo, karibu na mosque, tutakuwa na Kenya Kickboxing Federation Chairman's Cup Championship. Itaanza kutoka sanne mpaka Iishe. Na fight itakuwa nzuri na ukiweza kuja na rafiki yako pia na mtu support na muone vile pia hizi vitu zofanyika Kenya. Sio akina Tom pekee huko Thailand ama wapi hata huku tuko na hao wenyewe na kina Van Dem. So tafadhali kujeni pia mwenjoy na sisi vile kickboxing ufanyo. Ni free ama si free? Itakuwa free. Well, entrance ni free. <laughs> <laughs> entrance will be free for that event. That has been Takid Master is actually the Kenya Kickboxing Federation Competition Secretary and also a coach of kickboxing here in Kenya. I'm Robert Osoro. That's where we come to the end of this interview. Let's go for a short commercial break. Enjoy some Europa League highlights. When we come back, it will be all about the fan zone with Erika Ganya and Ken Andrews. We want to know what is your plan for the World Cup and also is Ellen Haaland the unstoppable robot that has stepped onto the Premier League and also you have got an interview about beach volleyball here in Kenya. Don't go too away, just stay with the touchline here on Y254.